What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the ACS under tray system that you can get for your CA Corvette. We talked about their front splitters and now we're gonna talk about the best way to protect it and it's with one of these systems. We're also gonna tease about another ACS product that's in the works that I'm really excited to show you when it gets here. But with that being said, let's get started on this. Alrighty guys, so we have this under tray out of the box. So let's take a better look at the, what you get from this. So, so looking at what you get there, you have the, as you can see, you have the main plastic piece that is, that goes under as the under tray. You also have these extra parts right here that are the substructure that when you attach it to the main under tray, it also works with the front splitter to make a very rigid and solid um, piece to keep everything protected. The best thing in my opinion though is not like obviously the actual main plastic piece but on top of that are these little pieces here. Now what these are they're basically scrapers that you get that you attach to the main under tray. And what that does is it acts as a sacrificial layer. These are replaceable um, and all they're doing is just they stick out a little bit more and take the brunt of any kind of rash road rash that you could get on the under tray uh, so that everything keeps protected and lasts a long time. And they're very, very easy to replace it only and it only uses a rivet gun to be able to install them. So and we'll show that in the actual install part of this video so you know exactly how it works. But this is really, really well designed. I really, really like this. If you're planning to have your seat for a long time, this is the kind of stuff that you want to invest in for your C8. Like, I'll tell you guys, I have looked underneath the front of my C8, and there's one particular spot that got really messed up. I don't even know where it got messed up. It might have been from when the rock hit the, my old front splitter and tore that to pieces. But that's the kind of stuff that I really wish I had this under tray system already installed because it would have protected it. It is something that I would definitely recommend to get for your car, especially if you're gonna have it for a long time. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope this video is useful to you. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel as well as liking this video. It does help me know that this kind of video is useful to you as well as help grow the channel. So thank you for that. Now this under tray system is compatible with all of ACS's front splitters. This means that it works with the 1VM version the 5VM version and the 7VM version as well. How we protect that front splitter is that the under tray actually has just a slight lip on the front to just be able to cover the front edge of that front splitter. It's so subtle you don't see it on your normal day-to-day -day basis, but it's there and it definitely protects that front splitter very nicely. So right now it's priced just under $900, which is a little bit of money, I will admit, but you are getting quality stuff. This product is made from PC composites that are high durability. So it's not made out of some kind of fiberglass or flimsy material. This is high grade composite materials. You are getting quality for your money. On top of that, it's not a permanent install. You are able to remove and put this back on as you need to service any kind of the front. So if you have any questions about like about this product, please leave it in the comments below and I'll check it out. So now that we talked a little bit about this, let's get into installing this bad boy and how that would look installing it on your C8. Alrighty guys, so we are set and ready to go to install this under tray on the CA Corvette. We're actually just waiting for a buddy of mine, Eric, to come who's actually getting an under tray system for his CA. And he wants to check it out as well as help me install this thing. He's also got another cool ACS product that we're gonna tease about. And I'm super like I'm super excited because I'm gonna have one for my ride too. And when that video comes out, you'll see it over here. It is definitely gonna be something that's gonna make your C8 stand out really, really well. So Eric got his special my special uh, part from ACS that we're gonna check out. I'm super excited about it, so let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. That is yeah, there it is. That is beautiful. Rear so what diffuser. that so what that is is a rear diffuser that would go on your CA Corvette. And in fact, how that actually would sit is right about right there. Yep. So you got one on each side. And that looks super, super nice. So we're going to be looking at installing that on Eric's car. Plus, I got a set for myself because, I mean, that looks freaking cool. So 
I'm definitely excited to be able to show that to you guys. And that's gonna show up in an upcoming video. When it does, I'll have a link to it here um, so you can check it out. So to do this install, there are a few items that you'll need and they're listed here. The job doesn't take long, around one and a half hours to three hours to complete, depending on your skill level and the tools you have. So first thing you need to do is drill out the holes for the scrapers to be installed. There are pre-drilled pilot holes to help guide you to enlarge the holes to the needed size of 1364. Once done, place the scraper in the groove. The holes will line up and allow for the rivet to fit through. You'll want the thin side of the rivet sticking up as this part will go into the rivet gun. If you've never used a rivet gun before, it's really easy. All you need to do is make sure that the entire thin rod is inserted into the hole. Make sure you're using the right size adapter, which should be a 5 30 second size. You'll need to pull and reset so that the rod is fully inserted after each pull. The rod will get to the point where it'll break off and the rivet is set. The rivet works by pulling the metal on the other side to secure the pieces together. Also, sometimes the rod can get stuck and may need to use pliers to remove. It may take some effort to pull, but after a few times, you'll get a hang of it. You'll then want to repeat the process for all the scrapers on the main panel. Next thing is placing the U-clips on the substructure. There are seven U-clips that will need to be installed on the side pieces with the pushed out side up. When working on the centerpiece, you'll need to install 10 U-clips in the designated slots. Once that's done, you're ready to lift the front of the C8. 
While you don't need to remove the front wheels or whatnot, you do need to lift the front enough to allow you good clearance to remove some of the screws that are deep under the front. I use a jack lift and jack stance, but you can probably get away with some high ramps to lift up the front with little effort. After you have the front of the C8 lifted, you'll want to install the substructure pieces. You're going to want to install them one at a time, starting with the center piece first and side pieces after as they will lay over the center one. To install the center substructure, you'll need to remove the front 9 T15 torque screws holding the front splitter and hold on to those screws. Once done, install the center piece using those T15 screws you removed. It's important though that you leave the end screws for later as the side pieces will overlay over those holes to make one substructure piece. Once that's done, you'll repeat the process for the side pieces. The last holes to screw are the overlay hole. If needed, loosen the screws to help align the holes up and retighten. After the substructure is installed, we can now remove the screws that will be reused for the under tray. You'll need to remove the 7mm screws shown and keep them for the reinstall. If you have a non-C51, remove the 6 additional screws to remove the flap pieces as they will need to be reinstalled with the under tray and flaps again. At this point, we're now ready to install the main panel. It is possible to install this piece by yourself, but it does make it easier if you have a second set of hands, at least to hold it in place initially. Using the seven millimeter screws, reinstall with the main panel in place.
after which you can then install the T15 screws that are provided by ACS in the located spots. Keep in mind there are four screws that are shorter and have a Phillips head that will be installed as well. The chart lets you know where. And with that, you have your under tray installed. If you have any questions about this install, please leave it in the comments below. Alrighty guys, how do you think this under tray looks on the seat? Or rather, you can't really see it. It's so subtle, but it gives you that extra protection and peace of mind. So I'm so glad that I have this on my C8. If you're interested in one for your ride, I'll have links in the description below so you can check it out. And we'll be showing another ACS product very soon. When that video comes out, it'll be right here for you to check out. If not, check out any of my other videos here for all of your C8 or car needs.